candy. Like a sweet candy. It's like Animal Planet here. And yeah, I didn't expect it at all. Why they always do it? It's dangerous to walk. Good morning from candy. I've never been here before, but I've heard that it was the capital of Sri Lanka. So I'm very curious about this city and I wanted to visit it for a long time. So today let's explore it together and let's figure out why people coming to Kandy like a crazy. Yeah, seriously, there are a lot of tourists and I wonder why. So let's figure it out today with me in Kandy in Sri Lanka. So we're staying in a hotel a little bit higher, a little bit on a mountain and what I understood so far is that the city is kind of uh, based on a lake which is very beautiful and other parts are surrounded by mountains and it's very cool and a very cool view from here to the city and we're gonna go to the city right now. First thing you see, you notice when you just arrive to the city is the fact that it's like half jungle, half city. The greenery is amazing and it's everywhere. Everywhere you can see the trees, the bushes, the different, different types of greenery and I think it's like a heaven for monkeys and for different animals just imagine you're the monkey and you're living in a place full of trees full of potential homes and you're living with white creatures who have a lot of food and who are kind of afraid of you all so colors you... of creatures have access. ah yeah yeah, yeah. all <laughs> colors <laughs> we are all colors creatures friendly so yeah and it's like a paradise you can steal the food everywhere and be a boss of the city so there are a lot of monkey here we haven't seen yet but i'm sure that we will today five minutes walk from our hotel and we are near the lake do you know the name of the lake maybe candy lake maybe candy lake okay let's call it candy lake oh and very interesting creature right here <laughs> hello creature looks like dinner yeah yeah <laughs> Unfortunately, we have no bread for you today. No protein bars, no nothing. Sorry. He's so cool just by himself here. Yeah, he's chilling. Nice and healthy. I would say this area is very nice for morning walk. Yeah, I see people are selling stuff, some food, some poor little monkey. Yeah, I don't like this stuff. And all buildings are very old, but the city is still like a city. It's still busy, not as busy as Colombo definitely, but the life is going. And now we are going to some kind of temple. And as I know, Kendi is known as a region of temples, but it's uh, like a little bit outside of the city. Here. Really? Yeah, we're going there. Cool. You say the ancient kingdom of Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yesterday I had some food, my stomach is dying. I think it was Indian. No, it was Sri Lanka. No, no, no. Well, it was Indian restaurant though. Ah. Uh -huh. Indian lunch fusion. Oh, look, that's our hotel and stuff. It's really cool. And yesterday here we saw a giant bed like the size of a huge eagle i don't know i'm very afraid of bats because i have a blonde hair and somewhere sometime i read that they like blonde hair and it's dangerous to walk without a hairband so i was very stressed out yesterday yeah and we walked like that like that 
protection from the bats. Oh, oh very nice square here. Again, very hotel looks very old. Again, I like that buildings are not high. They are all like uh, have only two, three, four maybe floors, and it makes city looks very aesthetic. Yeah, and most of them are white or in some bright color. And uh, as as I noticed, even even people here are, like dressed in white colors. Maybe some event going on for the maybe. And in the middle of the lake, a very cool little island, very tight and very again like very cute very well maintained like a piece of something in the water with the pelicans looks very cool we are near the one of the most famous buddha's temple in sri lanka i guess and the interesting fact is that the buddha teeth is a <laughs> is there <laughs> i don't know where exactly but it, it's in this temple Buddha's teeth. Tooth relic, whatever that is. And it was a huge line to this temple today. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of holiday, maybe it's some kind of special day today, or it's on a regular base. I'm not sure because we are only one day in Kandy. We were around last year, we were here in the mountains, but I've never been in a city inside, so like a house here what is it I don't know I no, not a single English sign but people are taking photo here Something. Wow very cool place yeah I wonder what is it now it's a photo zone for sure but like what it was, a house on a lake. So I figure out it's archaeological information center. And it's very impressive and very beautiful, beautiful building right in a city. And this temple it's a huge we are walking like five ten minutes who is it <gasps> wow full fish like bottom finally and they are eating something like right. bread bread or rice yeah hello how are you buddies? They are so funny, their eyes are like, are like human eyes But we don't have nothing for you I think they are busy, they have plenty Yeah Selling the lotus flower here Yeah, one of my favorite and the smell is so good and there are bees here I don't know why they sell a lot of flower near the temple some religious like thing kind of like putting a candle type of thing they are very beautiful and the smell is so cool you know I just want to grab these flowers and do like the this no, do like like this. Uh, How's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like on a wedding. Maybe it's for wedding actually. I saw it somewhere in a documentary that people. Oh, monkey! Oh, there's more food. Why, what is he eating there? He's eating salt. Salt. Really? Yep, he's eating salt like crazy. I don't think it's good for your health, little monkey. It's sodium. 
one more is coming. The monkeys know what they Really, it's like animal planet here. A lot of different types of animals, ducks, geese, uh, all kinds of birds, eagles, bats. They have funny haircuts, look at them. Monkeys. Do, 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 do. This one. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. What I already like about the candy is the weather condition because it's not as hot as Colombo or the beaches, not as hot, cold as Nuralia, but it's still very warm but windy and very comfortable overall. A little bit chilly in the evening but still I really like this weather and I like the name of the city. like candy it's like a candy and now we are on a main street of candy and it's really busy now as you can see and it's really not like the beach town for tourists i mean you feel you see that people actually live here and they're very chill and happy they Any seem bakeries. like a, yeah, nice lots cafes. of nice cafes, bakeries, and the mall. We were here yesterday, and it's very big and modern mall, and I was very impressed. And there are elephants on the background. We are in the middle of the mall. In Candy, is right in the city center. And it's very impressive for the small town to have such type of mall. Here you can see the kills, my favorite supermarket. I very like the egg bun in the kills. And some bakeries, some cafes on the top floor. You can see even the uh, nice food court with the food. Probably it's the weekend now, that's why the mall is so busy. And I really like this where they sell like fresh juices it's very cool and security already approached me and said that uh, filming is not uh, allowed here and I wonder why they always do it in malls like seriously it's not a, it's not a museum guys <laughs> chill out I just want to show how beautiful your city is how well maintained it is how modern it is so yeah, if you are working in a security and you are watching it now, let people film, really. So we are in Kills and uh, there are some of my favorite cookies. I really like this uh, sugar-free. I really like the ginger cookie, like this one. It's one of my favorite on Sri Lanka is ginger cookies. They are very good, trust me. So let's take something for the road because today we're going to Colombo. So yeah, let's just grab some snacks and go explore candy more. The cool thing about the mall is that they have VR like stand, VR games, VR are attractions on the top floor and it's very uncommon thing it's very cool and modern I'm sure it's very entertaining but I'm a bit afraid to try and here we have some kind of um, I don't know animals safe project or exhibition how elephants suffer that's very cool that they do it in a mall i think that sri lanka has like maybe one of the most rare species of animals and for sure one of the most unique back on the main street Andy. Should I take you to the bazaar? Yeah, I want to Looks go to like the market. Of course. 
I love markets. Mm. And I like that there are a lot of bakeries. They are everywhere. And despite the fact that the city is very old, authentic, looks very aesthetic and it's not the capital, it's not like a big city, you still have everything you need here. You have a modern mall, you have nice restaurants, you have markets. I feel like it's much more of a real busy city than Colombo. In that Janel will get the roller dart. Well, market there, you want to walk for a street? Yeah. Look at that, it looks like you. Doesn't it? Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Like decent cricket. Yeah. It can be set up football. Is it the small market, like only one street? Uh, a couple of streets here. Mm -hmm. A few more. It's kind of small. I mean, it's pretty busy and they're very eager to sell you polo. Yeah, it's very popular stuff in Ukraine. Like almost in every city yeah. you can yeah. find a market like that with <laughs> yeah, with yeah. a lot of different Louis Vuittons and Pradas on every corner. They also have these crazy buses. Yeah, let's take a look. Very good, very good. And it's very walkable. I like when the city are walkable. Again, drop of bakery. The best is egg bun, seriously. There's a jalapeno in there, some onions. Your breath is gonna be like that of a dragon, but surprisingly good actually. And very cheap, very watching, watching affordable. And you can easily walk from train station to the city center, from temple to the market. And it's a big advantage of the candy because in Colombo it's impossible and you will die <laughs> on your way from oh, one, one uh, part of the city to another because of the heat or a tuk-tuk driver okay. On Sri Lanka they like add spices to the fruit Shall we go buy train tickets? Yeah, let's go! Surprisingly, we have a Catholic church also in the middle of the city and I find it really interesting and cool that there are a Buddha temples, there are some Christian uh, churches in the same city. It's very, it's very cool fact. And it may be one of the busiest city and one of the most real ones from what I saw in uh, Sri Lanka and it's like a uh, one huge market 1897 what is this yeah like a giant lime yeah looks like a giant lime funny again all city center is like a huge market either it flows or it spices or it some knives and spoons and stuff for, for, for cooking yeah some greens fruits everything they just sell it on the street and the vibe is very real again and very alive I would say that the candy is very alive city the most beautiful thing in the world is grandpas who is who are buying some dry fish and a fisherman's near the lake it's really beautiful <laughs> a 
boat and cross the lake or go for fishing I don't know we are back home after our morning walk in candy and it's a really nice place to stay again it's a little bit up <laughs> so that's why my breathing is so deep because we were going up and now we're going to the railway station i was here on the railway station maybe once or twice and we are going to colombo it's our next stop and the room is like uh 45 dollars here with breakfast and it potentially this place will have like a, a open terrace but now it's closed and we are living on the ground floor we will grab our stuff and go to the train station i hope we will uh, find our seats in the second class like we always do but who knows maybe this time we should be ready for the fight so arrived to the railway station i remember that a year ago here me and danny met for like a second or third time it's a very funny story maybe we'll tell you in the next video and what i didn't expect from candy is that it's not like a tourist town like at all you don't feel the same vibe that you can feel on the beaches or near the beaches it's very livable very real and very busy even yeah i didn't expect it at all yeah now i'm in a railway station it's also very aesthetic and also very beautiful and i actually really like this city and it's much different than Colombo I feel like Colombo is mostly for workers and mostly for people who are, who are trying to get work or wanna get some money, wanna make some money and here it's just very chill town, chill city where you can live with your family with your kids and it's very beautiful I like the name of the city candy like a sweet candy <laughs> a couple of days ago we were nearby the candy in Arunia a very beautiful place very jungle amazing nature and a year ago we were in Santani which is like the most peaceful area probably in the world and there are a lot of beautiful and unique places around candy but i didn't expect that the city itself that inside the city you can also be amazed by this again architecture by this vibe by the people and i didn't see much tourists here again uh, unexpectedly i feel like it's a uh, real city real town with its own uniqueness and authenticity and i even feel a bit sad living now i wanted to spend maybe one more day to explore more maybe get a scooter go into the mountains find some elephants i think that people's activities here tourist activities here and i I'm sure there is much more to explore but today my goal was to show you the main area like the main street and the most remarkable places like the temples temples are just amazing impressive the lake area the main street the market and yeah living candy First class, first class baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First class, up in the sky. I can put you in. 
<laughs> All right, follow me to see more places, more interesting stories, experiences, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram also. There is much more. Oh no, I forgot. Let me fix that real quick. Divna Chaika. Divna, Divna Divchina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> see you in the next video.